In the friendly town of Eldridge, a blacksmith named Thomas lived with his wife Anne and daughter Lily. Thomas was a good man and well loved by his family and community. One day, a traveler visited Eldridge, spinning tales of a mysterious world's most beautiful thing. Thomas was intrigued. He decided he would search for this beautiful thing and bring it back to his family. His heart ached with the thought of the joy and wonder it would bring to Anne and Lily. With their blessings and the well wishes of the town, he set off, leaving behind the familiar comfort of Eldridge. His first stop was the bustling city of Virelia. There he met a painter named Lucia, who was renowned for her lifelike portraits and captivating landscapes. When Thomas asked her about the world's most beautiful thing, Lucia told him that the most beautiful thing she had ever seen was her art coming to life on a canvas. Thomas then journeyed to the endless expanse of the Sahara Desert, where he met a Bedouin named Ahmed. As they sat under the vast starlit sky, Thomas asked Ahmed about the world's most beautiful thing. Ahmed, his eyes reflecting the thousands of stars above, told him that the most beautiful thing he had ever witnessed was the silent dance of the stars in the boundless desert sky. Next, Thomas traveled to a serene monastery high up in the mountains and met a monk named Tenzin. Thomas asked Tenzin about the world's most beautiful thing. Tenzin, in his gentle voice, told him that the most beautiful thing he had ever experienced was the peace found in the embrace of silence and meditation. As the years passed, Thomas traveled to countless places. He met many people and heard numerous ideas about what the world's most beautiful thing could be. Yet with each new definition, a deep sense of emptiness grew within him. He had seen so much, learned so much, but the world's most beautiful thing he had set out to find still eluded him. Disappointment weighed heavy on his heart, like a stone sinking in a deep pond. Every night, as he gazed at the unfamiliar stars, he thought of Anne's smile and Lily's laughter. Their faces were becoming distant memories, and with each passing day, his longing to see them grew stronger. Finally, he decided to return home to Eldridge. When he arrived, the sight of the cobblestone streets and quaint houses filled him with a sense of nostalgia and warmth. He opened the door to his home, and there was Anne, her face lighting up at the sight of him. Lily ran into his arms, her laughter echoing through the home. The wave of love and warmth that washed over him took his breath away. In that moment, it dawned upon him. The most beautiful thing wasn't an object, a place, or even a single experience. It was the feeling of love, the sensation of belonging, the warmth of family. He had been seeking beauty in the world outside, but it had been right there, in his home, all along. The joy in Anne's eyes, the love in Lily's embrace, the coziness of his home, this was his world's most beautiful thing. His years-long quest had come to an end, not with the discovery of a new unknown treasure, but with the realization of appreciating the existing one. It taught him a valuable lesson, that beauty is not always something you see, it's something you feel. It's the love, warmth, and connection that we share with our loved ones. That's the true essence of beauty. And Thomas had found his right where he started, at his home with his family. In our pursuit of dreams and aspirations, we often search for extraordinary treasures. But remember, not everything that glitters is gold. As we strive to fulfill our desires, we should not lose sight of the meaningful treasures that already form part of our lives. This tale is a gentle reminder to appreciate what's already within our grasp. The most beautiful things in life aren't always wrapped in grandeur. They are often found in our daily lives, in the love we share, and the joy we find in simple moments. So, as you navigate your own path, don't overlook the treasures that life offers you every day. Because your most beautiful thing might be much closer than you think, just waiting to be acknowledged. This is Take the Leap Motivation. Until next time, remember, your treasure is where your heart is.